There ain't no B Sam McClanders don't make sense. I'm gonna touch on the church and the God versus the church and of Satan. This is very vital. Let's speak about this in the Bible on a plethora of instances, but I'm gonna touch on this. But while men slept, his enemy came and sold tares among the wheat and went his way. The wheat are the children of God and the tares are the children of Satan. And you gotta understand, once you enter in on this straight gate, once you start feeding your spirit and you start to grow in the spirit, remember, there's gonna be people that are conformed to the world, still plugged into the matrix, trying to be a stumbling block to you. And that is family members, friends, associates, it doesn't matter. And if you don't have the hymn and the salvation, if you don't have a strong mind and be renewed at a mind and the spirit, then guess what? You're not going to be able to withstand the wiles of the devil because remember, he's constantly looking for a way to destroy you. Remember, the wicked cannot sleep unless they done something wicked. So when you're having monetary spirits and gang stalking when you're on this journey, that is just part of it. The Bible says you're making yourself a prey once you enter into this truth. I'm sorry. And if they can't plant a seed in your mind of self-doubt, remember, if you got faith the size of a mustard seed, and it can move a mountain. Imagine what the size of a mustard seed of doubt can do and what that can expand and grow into. Imagine the people around you that you love and trust that are conformed to the world, still plugged into the matrix, can literally be placing things inside of your mind, strongholds. And you're not going to be able to grow. You're not going to be able to prosper if you allow these people to create these strongholds. And you're, un you're unable to break free. So we have to understand that this is not easy. Remember, those who endure to the end, the same will be saved because you have to endure what you're going through right now. It's long suffering in this because remember, they hated Christ and the servant is no better than his master. That's why I said the world hate thee to know that they hated me first. You have to understand that they hated Christ because he was preaching righteousness. He was talking about truth. Now that I tell you the truth, I'll become your enemy. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. And, but the kisses of the enemy are deceitful, right? So you got to understand, you're going to go through a situation where people don't like truth. They don't like to uh, obey the law, statute, commandments of the Lord. Because you got to understand who rules this world, who's the God of this world. The God of this world is Satan. He is the imitator. He tries to copy God. He wants to uh, ascend his throne, his throne on the same level of God. He wants to be just like him but he can't he's a counterfeit only thing he does is copy what the lord does but the only way for him to achieve that is to destroy what the lord has built and that is his people that is the chosen one on this earth remember you have a great purpose in you but the enemy doesn't want you to realize your purpose he wants you to compare carnal things with carnal things worldly things with worldly things he don't want you to see the spirit he don't want you to see how much you glow how much of a light you are because you are a light of the world and if you knew how special you were, he, it, it, it bothers them when they know that you have a strong purpose and that you're expanding the kingdom of God. They don't, the enemy doesn't want you to realize what you're capable of. He, want, he wants to leave you at such a low vibration that you're unable to see. Remember, you cannot walk by sight alone. You, know, you cannot just look with these eyes. Because remember, these eyes are deceitful. Because they only go about what they see in the physical realm. But that's why you have to be renewed in the mind. Because they said, now that I tell you spiritual things and you believe in that. So think about it. If I tell you worldly things, shoot, you wouldn't even believe the worldly things he was going to tell them. So you got to make sure that you're keeping a strong foundation, meditating on the word, only going around people who are on the same path that you're on. If they're going in truth, you be, you know, you're on the right path. But if you're going towards the ungodly, then they're not going to benefit you at all. They're going to plant seeds. You're going to gain strongholds. You're going to be, uh, you know, sold into the flesh and you're never going to be able to move past this. Understand, they are always around. A man enemies in his own household. That means amongst his brethren. So understand that there's a, that you got brethren all around the world that's facing the same iniquities, facing the same uh, problems as you. That's why you got to make sure that you stay fast, stay you know, in the in, in the in the path that a lot of people can't enter in because it's not for everyone. I mean, many are called for you to choke.